Today we're going to look at a really comprehensive guide on how to bunny hop. Talk about lifting both wheels individually, how to do that, what the most common mistakes are, and if you're struggling with one wheel or the other, I'll try and address that. A bunny hop is an essential technique you need to use on a mountain bike. It's something that I use all the time for getting over obstacles. Something like a really slippy route or a rock section, rather than driving the bike into these things, you start taking weight off the wheels, maybe jumping that section completely, or maybe just unweighting slightly so you're carrying speed over these edges. Also, it's the key technique you need to use to make height on a jump. This technique should be exactly the same on whatever bike you ride, hardtail, full suspension, also pedals, flats to clips. Good technique is good technique. So let's break the bunny hop down into a couple of parts first. It starts with a pump and a manual. This is where you go from your neutral position, stood up in the middle of the bike, you pump down and into the bike, and then you use this L shape to the back of the bike with your hips. Exactly the same as the manual technique. Down and back, that's gonna take your weight right over the rear wheel, and that should lift the front wheel. It's really important that your arms go straight as you go back. So actually you're using your weight to lift the front wheel and you're not using your arms to lift the front wheel. If you use your arms to lift the front wheel, you'll then find it really hard to lift your back wheel. If you've got that nice L shape down and back, you should think about it getting really low to that back tire. Because from there to then lift the rear wheel, all I then need to do is stand up and forward. So actually my legs extend, my hips go up towards the bars and that pops up the back wheel. If you're too high with your L shape, it feels like you have to sort of swing your hips forward. And that isn't a very nice feeling on the bike, swinging your hips towards the bars. It's much more natural just to stand up. That's really gonna help with your rear wheel lift. That's probably the hardest part of a bunny hop, is getting really good at lifting the rear wheel. Remember, it's all about using your weight. Weight is your hips. People cheat with their rear wheel lift, especially with clips, and they just pull up with their feet. That does work and it's okay, but the main reason you don't want to use that is you'll pull up with your feet, your hips still remain over the back tire. So if you get the timing wrong and drop that back wheel into an obstacle that you don't want it to hit, all your weight is then on that back tire. So there's a good chance that if it's a jump, you can end up casing that jump really hard and it's going to be a really heavy landing. Also, if you're relying on pulling up with your feet to lift the back wheel, you'll only ever be able to pick up your back wheel that much until you run out of space. So it's much better to use your hips up and forward you can then lift the rear wheel as much as you want. That's what I call a spud hop because most people with SPDs do this. You'll then draw a square shape with your wheels rather than get this nice shape, front wheel then back wheel using your hips. So if you are using that square shape SPD hop, that's not really gonna work if you're trying to get over an obstacle like a route and you're going slow because you'll need to go really quick to get the clearance with both wheels. So a really great way of practicing doing one wheel at a time is getting out a stick, putting it on the trail and rolling really slow at it so that you lift your front wheel up and over, pause, wait for your rear wheel to get close and then stand up and forward to lift the rear wheel. So you're doing one wheel at a time. Don't worry too much if your wheel just hits the stick. Just try and make sure there's no weight on that wheel when it does hit it. So the right technique is standing nice and tall, big pump. That does help with the full suspension bike, so you're gonna squash the suspension in. Same technique with the hardtail, but to go straight down, then back in that L shape to your rear tire. Remember, nice and low to that rear wheel. Then stand up and forward. That's gonna pop the rear wheel off the floor. Timing is the really important part. So actually you're standing up and forward as the front wheel is still coming up. Lots of people do this too late. So they've done their manual, the front wheel's now dropping and then they go with it and that's too late. It will feel natural because you're going with the front wheel, but actually you need to come up and towards the front wheel as it's just about to peak. Then start rolling quicker at the stick, still doing one wheel at a time and you should find that it starts turning into a proper bunny hop. So both wheels are in the air at the same time, but you're still using front wheel, then back wheel technique, not doing two at the same time. If you're struggling with lifting the rear wheel, just practice getting nice and low to that rear tire and using your hips up and forward 
and also maybe try and use a little bit of a scoop as you do that. You can practice just doing the rear wheel for now, forget the front wheel, get really confident lifting the rear wheel and then it's all about timing. Fitting it all in one go is the hard part. The bunny hop is almost the third piece of a puzzle really. So to do it nicely, you need to be able to pump and manual first. So for more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our how to pump video or click down here for how to manual. Also, you can click on me like as always to subscribe to GMBN.